We begin tonight with more calls to reinstate Hamilton Center MPP Sarah Jama back into the NDP caucus following her removal earlier in the week. A virtual rally in support of her was held today with speakers from all across Canada. Jason Gaidola joins us live tonight with more on this. Good evening, Jason. Yeah, good evening, Taz. There were many of supporters that joined uh, forces today calling uh, for the NDP to reinstate Sarah Jama back into the party. However, so one supporter specifically said that supporters should re also reconsider their support for the NDP. However, most others did not go uh, quite that far today. And this is uh, when uh, Marit Stiles was asked yesterday if there was any chance that she would reconsider bringing Sarah Gemma back into the party. And this is also following riding associations calling for uh, demanding her to go back into the party and even one asking her to resign. Why are people asking for a party who is still treating drama like this to take her back? Why? I don't understand. Toronto journalist Desmond Cole believes Hamilton's Sarah Jama should move on as an independent during a virtual rally in support of her. Let her go and let her say and do the principled things that she was not able to do as a member of the ONDP. A social media post yesterday shows the Hamilton MPP at her constituency office without the NDP signage on her windows. CHCH News asked about JAMA's availability, but was told by supporters at her office that she'll be addressing the public soon. During the webinar, various speakers nationwide called for the Ontario NDP and leader Marit Stiles to bring the Hamilton MPP back into caucus. This echoing riding associations in Hamilton and Kitchener, demanding her reinstatement, a leadership review, and in one case, a resignation from Stiles. And I do believe that we need to engage with the system to avoid, in all different ways, to avoid a future in which we exist at the margins and we have to fight a thousand times harder on the street. We urge the party to make a final effort to repair its relationship with Sarah, Palestinian Ontarians, and all those who stand in solidarity with them, including the working class people of the Hamilton District Labour Council. On Monday, Stiles says she kicked Jemma out of the party after Jemma undertook unilateral actions resulting in broken trust and an unsafe work environment. Prior that morning, Jemma took to the legislature, calling for a ceasefire and restating her support for Palestinian people. A speech similar to her pinned controversial tweet about the Israel-Hamas war from more than two weeks ago. Is there a, a route back to the party for MPP Jemma? You know, I'm listening to people. I am listening to people and certainly hear their concerns. And I, I don't think at this exact time there is, but I, I do hear people. Yesterday at Queen's Park, Stiles addressed the blowback for the decision to remove JAMA and questions on whether caucus supports her. Toronto MPP Jill Andrew also posted her disapproval. You know, the question is, is this a bunch of people who are upset but who ultimately don't have another political vehicle that's viable uh, to them? It's not like they're going to jump to the Liberals, for instance, on this issue. McMaster political science professor Peter Graves says there are questions on how much support Stiles could lose. In a way, uh, Merritt Stiles does have the ability to, to lose these people with the uh, sense that they might well come back at some point in the future. Also last Thursday, Sarjamo's lawyer sent out a cease and desist letter to Premier Doug Ford's office where they uh, claimed that or accused him of uh, making uh, defamatory uh, comments about JAMA. Now, they also uh, asked for an apology and a retraction within seven days or face a potential libel lawsuit. Today is day eight, and we did reach out to uh, her lawyer today, and we've yet to hear back.